Why, hello there. Welcome back to a Blake Game of Day. Um, today I'm running an interesting, strange build that I was like, hmm, maybe this will be terrible. Um, so essentially it revolves around the idea of Thana plus Sloppy Butcher, except I don't want to use Sloppy Butcher on the Blight because he doesn't really M1 people that much. Or base attack them, I suppose you could say. <clears throat> However, there is an alternative that exists called Scourge Hook, pay, Gift of Pain from the Pinhead or the Cenobite. Um, so it is, it is a Scourge Hook, so it goes well with Agitation. And then because they're uh, hemorrhaged and mangled, it slows down their healing. And because the Anaphobia gives you a slowdown, if they are hurt, they'll want to heal. And if they heal, then they get an additional 9%. And then on top of all of that, the more I hook people, the more Dying Light goes into effect, except for the Obsession. But I mean, who really cares about the Obsession? Let's be honest. So let's see if this even works. I, I don't know. I mean, there's no barbecue and jelly, so how how good could it be, right? Right, guys? Right? Yeah, right, right, right. All right, let's go in and see. Okay, suffocation pit. Hey, I was just talking about this map yesterday. Um, about how somebody once told me that they thought that Azarov's resting place, the uh, infamous eye-shaped map, was actually stronger than the middle of this map. Or, well, the middle of that map is stronger than the middle of this map. And I just, I just cannot help but disagree. Alright, so these two people are just in the open. On. Think she's still around? Did she stick around? Did she? I think she did. Hey. <laughs> okay, but what are you doing? Oh. Okay, but what are you doing? Whatever, dude. You can pick her up. I don't care. <clears throat> she was the obsession anyway. She does not matter to me. Mm -hmm. She can go self-care with a bunch of, like, speed. Oh, she is here. I thought I heard moaning in my yaw. Let's see if she can throw this. Nice. Oh, she was, she was healing. Hello, other other fang. Y'all who I want, not the Yunjin. Hmm. Cause I want to get more stacks of this. Wait, did you just leave? Oh, you did. See, this is why this map is really strong. Okay, I don't know what she did. Um, I was gonna say this is why this map is really strong. It's because of, look at all these LT walls are just strung together. A normal like. Uh, I guess we'll take her back over here. A normal, like, tile that is weak. But if you literally just, like, smash, like, five of these together. Oh, man. It gets so much, so difficult to deal with. I don't know why I'm looking at barbecue. I don't have it. Kick it. All right, see, we already have two stacks of dying light. Oh, what is this? Oh, what is this? Hmm? What is this? What is this? Ah, darn. So there's some cool stuff you can do with this. But it doesn't matter. Man, she's patient. Alright, she's not that patient. <laughs> I was gonna say, man, she's patient. I even have extra slam add-ons and it doesn't matter. Boop. Uh, what are you guys doing? Yeah, hmm? Yeah! What, three stacks of Thanatophobia now? Yo. Uh. Yep, that was totally intentional. Totally intentional. Alright. Oh. Oh, honey. Oh, honey, you should have just done it. Now you have four stacks of Thana. 
Pepe hands, dude. Pepe hands, dude. I don't even have any strong add-ons or anything. I just have me. I'm just me. Although I should hook that uh, obsession. I'm gonna be really sad if I ever lose this hook. I've been hooking everybody on it. So right now, if they heal, they get 9% slowdown. Plus everything else from Thanatophobia and the four stacks, which comes out to be four times three is 12% slowdown. They got a lot of slowdown on a lot of stuff here. I don't know where they are. There they are. I was going to say, I don't know where they are, but apparently I do know where they are. Hmm, that was really good on you. No. Some, I think it's the corn map. Where you can do a little slip slip and slide. Oh, there you are. Oh, you're gonna go to this long wall, huh? Ooh, look at you. Ow. You gonna take me on a chase? You gonna you gonna lead me on a chase? On a on a fanciful chase. Uh hmm. Uh hmm. Ooh, wonder how long that took to do. Meh. Wow, that was a really good fake. I actually fell for that completely. I was gonna say, there's no way she makes this, but then she didn't have to. She just had to fake it. But then the second time, she kind of had to. Okay, but but why? Uh, <laughs> if she had just thrown it or just like hugged that tighter and actually went around, she'd have been fine. No, she had to be all fancy. Man, we've got two on hills. No good. No good. All right, throw her up here. Get even more stacks of dying light. Get even more. You know, it seems it seems that even though, like, I have all this passive slowdown and stuff, it is still not helping. What? But these guys have like passive nine percent slowdown on everything now because of uh, gift of. Gift of pain. Uh. Okay. Well, I guess I guess that worked out. I'm like, I, I just wanna. Why can't I? I just wanna. Then you know, I did, and then it was fine. Yeah, there's no pallet here. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't mean to. I don't mean to be a Debbie Downer, but uh, you get nothing. Um, we're gonna put her over on. Honestly, we're just gonna put her on a regular hook. It doesn't matter. She's 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 whatever. Um hmm. 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 We will break this. Hmm. Hmm. We're still only at six. Oh, hello. I seen you there. We're only at six hooks. But it seems like they wanna play on this side of the map. She's got iron will, huh? I think if I had swung earlier, I would have been fine. But I didn't, so I'm not. Alright, perfect. Kind of a tight little timing, because if you if you if you cut it short on either side, it, it, it just does the bad thing. Man, three stacks of Thanatophobia. If they're healed, they get 9% down. Six stacks of this, and they're still doing gens. It's actually kind of incredible. Hello. Why are you clicking at me? What? 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 Where are you going? What's your plan here? Alright, so what? Seven stacks? Also, did I break that hook? Oh my god, I might have. Oop. Um, I feel like the thing that you would want in a build like this would be something like Pop Goes the Weasel, or if you really wanted to, like, slow things down super hard, you would run something like Surge or the other, uh, Scourge Hook for the, the, like, actual, excuse me, the actual regression. Uh, just because I feel like the slowdown might move 
the gen time from 80 seconds to like 100 seconds, 120 seconds, you know, 140 seconds, or however long it makes it, with seven stacks of this, plus Thanatophobia, plus Gift of Pain, plus whatever else, you know. But like, you're not really doing a lot. You know? Alright, well. Alright, well, okay. Mmm. 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 Hello. I think this is the third time I've downed you, lady. And it is going to be the last time. Okay, maybe not, actually. I don't know. I don't know how this works. <clears throat> I think I still have to find the other fang, and she has two hooks in her still, too. I was gonna look at barbecue, but guess what? I don't have any. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Let's go check these gens. Like a good little gen checker we are. It would have made sense if she was on this side of the map doing these gens, but no. Nothing in this game makes sense. Maybe she's just hiding in a corner. I, I don't know. 3 times 7 is what? 21%? 21% slowdown on healing and doing gens and... Uh, I don't know if there's anything else that it does. Just gens and healing, right? Doesn't like... Doesn't like affect... Um... Totem cleanse time. That's only Thanatophobia and Thrill. So yeah, I mean, just the two biggins. Although, I do feel like Thanatophobia would... Like, the buff that Thanatophobia needs is genuinely that its stacks don't go away if somebody dies. Like, it is literally the fear of death. That's what Thanatophobia is. Like, the real world. The real world word is the fear of death. And so, like, if people are dead, you'd think that it would actually be, like, mo more? I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe the less people that are alive, the less, like, people that can feel the fear of death, and that's what you're feeding on? I don't know. I have no idea. All I know is that whenever people die because of that perk, or not because of that perk, but like while you're using that perk, it kind of, it kind of, you know, lessens its effectiveness by a significant amount by each death. Does this map have a hatch? Do you think? Is it just gone? Does it not exist? I feel like I've checked everywhere, right? Actually, did I check the shack? Hmm. Mm. I don't know. <clears throat> uh, wait, is she? Oh, wow. It's actually just right next to this gen. She's probably right next to a... Uh, I would have laughed my ass off if that was... If she was in there. Woo. All right. Let's check this door. If she's not over here, well then I guess we just lose, right? Wow. Wow, what a s- what? what? Wait, is she like legitimately hiding in a corner somewhere? I don't know. If she- if she's just hiding in a corner somewhere this whole time, I'll just fast forward this and you won't have to watch me go back and forth through this, even if I'm like talking. Do do do. Fang. Would you like to come out? Is this Feng gonna do a thing where she like doesn't? Oh my god, I just saw her. I found you! Hmm? Does she have a key? Does she have a key? Does she have a key? Do you wanna. Alright, dude. Yeah. Dude, come here. Come here. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. Come 
Come on. Yeah, she probably had a challenge. <clears throat> I'm a nice guy. I don't know if she had a challenge or not, but she had a key. So like, you know, you're, you're, like I went from hating keys. Oh wow, she brought that. Nice. She actually was evading me with the blood amber. That's pretty funny. Did you have a challenge? Or just... Had a key? Let's see. Sometimes... I, apparently it's pretty difficult. Well, glad I could help. Well, good luck in the next games. Side note. If you're doing this challenge, bring, um, bring, like, clairvoyance or, um, you know, uh, left behind or something, because, uh, <laughs> just a skeleton key by itself is, is gonna be, like, I could have killed her if I, if I wanted to, like, yeah, but, oh well, um, good game, I like that, I, I enjoyed that, this build is, is <laughs> really, <laughs> uh, uninspiring I suppose you should you could say so all right let's continue so uh, the problem with these type of builds that rely on this passive slowdown such as three percent to penalty repair healing sabotage speeds for each token um, five percent to repair sabotage and to totem cleansing speeds um, per token and then uh, nine percent penalty to healing and repairing actions until injured again like the problem with all these, even if they all add up to the most amount, which is like 20 plus like 18 plus like nine, it's like, oh, wow, 40% slow down. Um, who cares? Genuinely, uh, all of these perks do nothing if you cannot down survivors, right? And if you do down survivors, you can literally take all of these off right and you could put on a perk like ruin or like pop goes the weasel have nothing else on and get the same amount of regression or the same amount of slowdown in the game if you use this this properly um more accurately like scourge pain resonance just because it's much easier to use than pop um but like yeah i <laughs> It's it's really I feel like I feel like these slowdown perks like dying light and and, and like thanatophobia they fall into this weird gray area where the devs don't want to buff them because if they buff them they'd be like really really annoying to play against but like they they're so weak that it doesn't matter if you stack all of them on top of each other you still only equal up to like one good other gen regression perk you know what i mean it's very weird it's a very strange like thing so personally i prefer to run things that are like guaranteed such as no way out obviously you see me use that a lot or any kind of chasing perks or something that help me get downs that give me more lethality such as rancor or you know starstruck you know whatever it is Possibly even stealth perks like Tinker. Uh, but that's obviously just a personal preference. You can play however you want. If you want to stack Ruin on Dying, Pop Goes the Weasel, Pain Resonance, you're absolutely free to do that. <laughs> um, you know, we all play as we want to. But yeah, I just, I, it's it's an interesting like case study on on how fast those gens were able to get done, even though I was putting good pressure on them and I was using like a, all of the right perks to make it so that those gens couldn't get done very quickly, um, that they're still like super weak. So, um, all right. Well, thank you so much for coming to my TED talk. Uh, I make one of these every single day. Thank you for, <laughs> thank you for watching. Um, join me on my twitch channel twitch.tv forward slash i know um if you like this you can share with a friend be like hey come see this guy who plays blight averagely at best and he's got a really bad voice right now because he's sick um yeah twitch.tv forward slash i know you can catch me there live uh otherwise i'm here so thank you guys so much for watching again i will be back tomorrow have a good night everyone until the next one goodbye